Hi Leo, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your 21 card uh, love reading. Just to let you know a couple of differences in the reading. Um, first of all to say that uh, if you are single or casually dating then this is the video that you want. I'm uploading a second video for those of you who are in a relationship. Um, The other thing to say is that there is someone who has been um, impersonating my channel. So they've been uploading. Uh, it's an Alan. I can't remember what the name is. Alan something or other. Anyway, um, I've contacted YouTube about this individual. It disgusts me how people think that they can just take other people's hard work and try and earn revenue from what they somebody else has done. Disgusting behaviour that people should think that it's okay to rip off another YouTuber's work. Hard work at that it takes me hours and hours to record and for someone just to go and take my work just like that and think it's okay to do that and have no sort of moral compass about that this person has invested all of their time in making all of these videos it's tiring work it's lengthy work and then just to have somebody go and take my work and put it onto their own channel that they've just set up I'm really really appalled at this so we'll see what you know karma is a bitch at the end of the day so we'll see what god does about it what the universe does about it because it's not on you shouldn't have you shouldn't be able to go onto somebody's channel and rip it off so ellen lyons i think is the name is the person if you see this person uh uploading my videos um it's not me it's not me i have no affiliation with this lawyer and thief at all no affiliation whatsoever but some people have no morals i wonder who their parents are so let's make a start on your reading um Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What's coming in for Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Show me Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. What's coming in? I only want to see singles and casually dating for the month of um, December 2016. Show me what's coming in for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs over the month of December, over the month of December 2016. What's coming in? I just want to see those who are casually dating or single from now. What's coming into their love life? I only want to see love, please. What's coming into their love lives? in the month of December 2016 show me alright so I've shuffled the cards Leo split the deck into three The other difference that I'm doing on these videos now, Leo, is um, I've got the positions here. So the top row, you know that you've got your columns, seven columns here, three rows. Your top row looks at the crowning area, so what the situation actually is. The second row shows what the approach is to that situation, and the third row shows what the, where that situation has derived from. So, what's the cause of it? What's the root? I'll show you as we go along. So, it just gives the reading a little bit more structure, I find. Okay, so let's have a look at what your mental and emotional state is. Oh, four of swords in the reverse. Oh, 
do you know what I've gone and done I have gone and put these the wrong way around because they need to be upside down so uh, boy I can't believe I've done that okay let's just switch some of these around All right, we'll be able to turn them upside down as we go along anyway. So, mental and emotional state, the Four of Swords. Um, but this is you. This is how you're dealing with the situation mentally and emotionally, Leo, if you're single or casually dating. The Nine of Pentacles is a difficult card in a way to explain mentally and emotionally, but I feel that this is more a card of independence and confidence in oneself. So I feel that it's a card of growth, uh, it's a card of attainment, accumulation, but it's also a card of being kind of in control and happy with oneself and happy with one's life on one's own. So I feel mentally you feel quite strong, quite independent. It seems to be around a situation of the Four of Swords. So maybe some of you guys have taken a break from a relationship here or there's some form of a pause going on. It seems to be rooted in the ace of swords clarity of mind so i feel that you're very clear on a situation in terms of love here it could have been a breakup ending something with a partner here and i feel that mentally you feel quite strong and independent around that with the nine of pentacles what's going on in your present situation right so we've got the emperor here is the situation card or the crowning area this is the actual situation so there's a relationship that some of you guys in um in the um, uh, who are single or casually dating might be in in the month of december 2016 but it's been uh, the reason for this or the situation around this is the emperor so this is something perhaps some of you guys have been building up or will be looking to build up over a period of time the emperor means to build a strong team it means to take control it means to build a strong secure stable foundation could be an emperor that you're in a relationship with here and what's the the foundation card showing well that's the wrong way up so the ace of pentacles well it's because of a new, a new opportunity here so the foundation card we can say here is showing a new opportunity that has come in here the crowning area or the situation around this opportunity here is the emperor could be an older individual could be an authoritarian person but it's a uh, somebody who's quite um who has who's made a, i feel a very big impression on you guys here um and hence we have the relationship showing up here for some of you single or casually dating people here oh jeez king of swords is in the hopes oh that's the right way around nine of wands oh they're all the right way around what happened with those ones then that's very odd okay so your hopes are the nine of wands it's rooted in the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel that you're being cautious here. But, you know, your hopes are the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands as a hope is to persevere with something here. It seems to be that the situation around this is the King of Swords. And that you're hoping to persevere with something because of the King of Swords. Because the root issue is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is the building of a very, very solid relationship. Um, that's very interesting actually why have we got two people the emperor therefore must be um, rather than a person I feel that this is uh, more an energy this is something solid here in your present situation and that's why the situation revolves around building a strong secure life or um environment with this individual which is why we've got the two of cups here in the present situation it comes from the foundation is an opportunity has come to you um for a romance i feel with this two of cups here and the situation is around an emperor so this is somebody who i feel is quite powerful quite authoritative it must be that this king of swords is the same individual as the emperor because your hopes will be to persevere i don't feel it's the cautious cautious is negative hopes are never really negative they're always positive so it's to persevere because i feel the root of this perseverance is building something with this individual and i feel it's a king of swords so rather than i feel that the emperor represents all the attributes maybe of this king of swords energy here 
that you are looking to build something up with this individual okay and you're therefore you're persevering with this because I feel that mentally and emotionally you're done with a situation with someone from the past potentially your expectations well it's covered by the lovers the six of pentacles give and take we can say as an expectation with this card that the attention will be fully on you you'll put your attention fully on the relationship because perhaps for some of you guys you're feeling in love you're feeling that this is the one you might be feeling that this is your soulmate with that lover's card and what's it rooted in the world brilliant card so you know we can say that the foundation for your expectations being the world is that something you know you feel that the this is something quite amazing in terms of love um leo with another individual and therefore what you're expecting is a give and take relationship a relationship where two people come together they share that the attention will be fully put on you maybe this is something that you didn't get here with someone from the past and now this person comes in and you know six of pentacles is not a straightforward card we can say in the general meanings yes it's about give and take but it's also about the attention being fully on you okay it could also be that you're this person here because maybe this person here is the person that you split from here in the mental and emotional state so your expectations are to put your attention fully on this individual here maybe because this the crowning area shows that you're starting to feel something very very strong you might feel that this person is a soulmate they're meant to be and it's rooted in the world your world is also a soulmate card where you feel that you've finally met the right person for you what are any hidden factors coming in that you're not seeing temperance covers that the six of swords yeah we'd have i feel that um uh, what you're not seeing is that this person um with the six of swords it might be this king of swords energy here this is a travel card so it might be that this person is away from you because it's rooted in the wheel of fortune we to wheel of fortune can be a card about travel and it can be a card about being out in the world as well because it looks like a map so it might be that this person um is away from you uh with this six of swords in the hidden facts if the person is away from you here because it's rooted in the wheel of fortune um it might be with the temperance card that this person is being patient but i don't feel that that's it it doesn't feel right to me to say that so it could be six of swords can sometimes mean a change of mind so it could mean that this person what you're not seeing coming in is this person might have a change of mind here but it's rooted in the wheel of fortune which is you know uh, things that suddenly come in things that are unexpected unexpected changes okay or it might be that this person has to go traveling because there are unexpected changes and it's um uh, covered crowned in the temperance card so it might be that this person has to go away because they've got some sort of issue that they need to sort out could be with family could be with a working thing but it might be on what you're not seeing yet hidden aspects is this person i don't get anything really ominous from that i'm going to say that i've got a change of mind we'll have to see what the immediate future and outcome cards show but i feel that i'm just feeling here with these cards that it's almost saying that there might be something unexpected that happens uh, where the, you guys might be apart for a little while but I feel that this person it's either you or somebody's going to have to go on a trip could be Christmas obviously because you know travel Christmas time wheel of fortune you know the world go going somewhere else traveling somewhere else and temperance covers that you know spending time with loved ones that type of thing so it might be that this person obviously has to go away and travel and see its family or something like that don't get really anything ominous let's see what's coming in well, the Five of Swords crowns the uh, immediate future. Why do we have the Five of Swords? The Three of Cups. So it shows in the immediate future. Could be a reunion here. But um, the situation around this is the Five of Swords. So this, the situation around this reunion could have been some form of argument with you and this person potentially or if this person has any baggage maybe they are able to solve that with the five of swords which is why there's the three of cups here coming together what's the three of cups rooted in what's the foundation card the root of the issue oh is that right that is right the knight of cups in the reverse the reason for this five of wands five of swords here is the knight of cups in the reverse and this is somebody who doesn't keep a promise which is why there's some form of an argument here 
but in the immediate future there will be the three of cups so i feel that somebody might have to let you down over christmas but i feel that there's going to be a reunion after that so i feel that in the hidden factors it might be that what's the hidden factors are showing is with the wheel of fortune there's something that happens out of the blue something that somebody's got to work out or sort out and that's why they're going to have to travel and do something but i do, and i feel that this is why it's, this is showing up that this person in the immediate future is going to have to let you down over something here with that knight of cups which is why we've got some arguments but you guys come back together with the three of cups energy leo okay and what's the overall outcome? The High Priestess. Seven of Wands. So we've got the High Priestess, the situation, but it comes from the Seven of Wands, the root of the issue. And the Seven of Wands can say that there are restrictions or this person is kind of um, not in a position to kind of be there or you know uh be there for when you want them to be there over the christmas period and it's we've got the crowning situation as being the high priestess so it could be there's a little bit of a, a weight on this situation with this individual and what's the actual overall outcome here yeah we've got another waiting card the knight of pentacles so things are moving slowly within this relationship here i feel leo in terms of your relationship with this individual let's go back to the beginning it's really interesting reading and we'll quickly read through the cards again um i feel uh that the ace of wands is the root of the issue for this four of swords so you're taking a break mentally emotionally it looks like you're taking a break here and that's because of the ace of swords mental clarity which is why you're feeling quite independent and strong leo in terms of who you are what you're looking for in terms of love it seems to me that the root of the issue for your personal situation you've been made an offer here which is why we have the emperor and this is, i now feel is you guys taking back control of your lives because you've been made some offer and that's why mentally and emotionally you're feeling quite strong and independent and that's why in the present situation there is some form of a relationship or a date or coming together with another individual i can see in the month of december 2016 in your hopes and desires well your hopes are rooted in the ten of pentacles building a committed relationship with this individual which is why we have the king of swords energy here this is the person i feel around the situation that you're wanting to build something with here and you're holding on in there because i feel that you really really like this individual your hope is the nine of wands to hold out for this individual okay um because the root is that you want to build something with this individual and it's showing as a king of swords uh, gemini libra aquarius can be male or female what you're expecting is well it's rooted in the world which says that there is some form of accomplishment made here you feel that you've met your soulmate that type of thing which is why we've got the lovers deep attraction with this individual and therefore you're expecting it to be an up and down give and take relationship because i really feel that there's someone here in december single and casually dating somebody who's really got you somebody who's really kind of got you in the throes of something here you're feeling really like this is the one and even though there might be some ups and downs you are sensing with this relationship you're willing to stay in there for the long haul so the eight of pent six of pentacles sometimes means up and down so i feel that you're expecting things to be up and down but it revolves around the issue is the world the root issue is the world um, but it's leading to the lovers being the crowning situation we've got a situation here which shows strong soulmate vibes coming in and it's rooted in the world i feel that you feel that you've found the right person for you here absolutely and therefore you're expecting things are going to be up and down but you're not willing to give up on this individual because in your hopes you're hoping that you can persevere what you're not seeing is well the hidden factors are rooted in the wheel of fortune there might be something unexpected that comes in um the unexpected thing the root of the issue being something unexpected shows in the situation as being temperance um and it might be that you're going to need to be patient with this temperance card because this person may have to go on a trip with that six of swords and therefore in the immediate future it might be the root of the issue in the immediate future is that you feel let down with that knight of cups in the reverse that this person didn't keep a promise to you which is why the situation might be some form of conflict but what you're going to actually find is that in the immediate future there should be some form of um a good outcome or reunion or it could be you know you just go and have a good time with friends that type of thing because you've been let down a little bit here 
In the overall outcome, what we're seeing is the root of the issue in the overall outcome is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands means to protect. So some of you guys might be still trying to protect this relationship with the Seven of Wands energy in the overall outcome because the situation is the High Priestess. High Priestess says things are yet to be revealed here. So the High Priestess, when you get this, it can either mean the revelation comes to you, it can mean no revelation. It's one of those cards. Uh, and I feel that for some of you guys it will be that you're still going to be defending this relationship here the root is you're defending it and why you're defending it because the situation is the high priestess you don't really know how things are going to turn out as yet so therefore the overall outcome sees the knight of pentacles it shows somebody still faithful and they're still holding in there I feel that you're still going to be holding in on a relationship this is not a bad reading at all it's lovely it just shows that somebody can't do something over the Christmas period they're being called away to do something here and there's not a lot you can do about it, Leo, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just one of those things. So I feel that, you know, um, it's not a bad reading at all. You've been offered a new opportunity concerning love. You're feeling in far more in control that it's making you feel in control. Because you already felt this mentally. You've cut something out from the past. You've brought something new in. There's something new that's coming for you guys. But there's somebody around you who I don't feel can um, be there for you exactly over the Christmas period because they've got other obligations. It could be work. It could be other family. It could be whatever. But I feel that you're feeling a sense of feeling let down, which is why it could be that you're celebrating with friends, just taking time out, enjoying your time with family. But it could also be that, you know, this person gives you a call. Three of Cups isn't usually a contact card but it is a card about a reunion you can have a reunion in all sorts of ways a telephone call on christmas day that type of thing and that's why i feel that you're still holding out seven of wands nine of wands seven of wands are both cards about holding out and perseverance so i feel that you still defend this relationship because you don't really know what's going on with that high priestess being the situation and therefore your actions dictating the overall outcome you're still in there you're still loyal to this individual okay because i don't feel that you should give up on this individual and i feel that this individual has just been called away because of certain things so that's your reading if you are single or um in a casually dating relationship leo i would like to say thank you so so much for choosing carol's universe for your um 21 card love reading um if uh you are in a relationship go over to your relationship reading if you're coupled up um, it's next door and I will see you guys in your general reading. Take care.